Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome, I'm Michelle, and I hope that you're going to enjoy all the personal development content that comes onto this channel. So on today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that I am asked quite often. Actually, that came from the video that I did, I think a couple of months ago, about side hustles and how you can actually expand your income by having different income streams through different side hustles. And a lot of people have often asked, how do you get a business idea? How do I um, get a side hustle idea? I really want to make a little bit more money, but I just don't know what are the things that I need to do. Where do I look to actually find an idea? And I know that if you Google how to find a side hustle idea, you are going to find a couple of ideas that would be recommended. But sometimes they can be slightly unrealistic based on where you are, your community, the amount of money that you have, whether or not you've got any capital and a lot of other factors that you need to consider. So on today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little bit of my story and how you can come up with your own business idea based on where you are where you are from and what it is that you're doing. So to begin this video, let me tell you a little story. So in 2015, I was working at a wedding venue in Muldersdrift, which is around the Western area of Johannesburg. And I was a wedding and events coordinator, basically meaning that I was planning events for the venue and weddings particularly. So that for me raised an opportunity for me to actually start something. Then I went and I enrolled at the SA School of Weddings and I did my course on wedding planning to actually be able to help these couples actually plan their weddings a lot more better and after that I saw a huge need because again they still wanted deco services they still wanted flowers with that opportunity you know having risen I went and then I did a wedding deco course where I learned how to actually do flowers and from there that's when I launched my first business which is lavish creations and what I really wanted to drive with that point is your ability to realize opportunities wherever you are and that's basically how you create an amazing business and that's basically how you actually start coming up with that side hustle sit down and look at where you are right now and how it is that you know people are doing things and how else can you actually add value you might find that you are in an environment where people don't have access to a certain thing from there you have the power to actually bring that thing at bulk and sell it to the people especially if there's a huge demand for it so the biggest tip that I want to share in this video is start looking around you because there's always opportunities start looking where you are right now and say what is the biggest thing that frustrates me right now well that that frustrates you and if you find other people that are frustrated with the same thing it is so much easier for you to actually come up with a business idea that would be able to have clients because there are people that have this problem and there are people that would be able to buy from and now with all these things that are happening around the world you need to still be able to still look around and see how are things changing because guys definitely things are changing every now and then well more than ever right now with all of this that's happening around the world and your biggest thing whether or not you've lost your job whether or not you're still there or you you've just been unemployed and you've been looking for different ideas to actually start working on this is the time to look around you and see what are the things that are frustrating the people in my community and one of the biggest things that we need to do and we are looking for side hustle ideas is we need to stop thinking about all these sexy entrepreneurial ideas that we want to do so half the time when people are looking for business ideas they look for ideas that are going to be a little bit more public worthy or socially celebrated or whatever the case is but you need to realize that money is where the people are at. If you can get a million people to pay you one rand, you will have a million rand within your business. You will have a million rand. But so whenever you're looking at how to actually come up with a side hustle, your biggest thing is how can I serve people and how many people can I serve with this thing? Like right now, if you can find a way to create masks, like a lot of people are doing, everybody is in need of one. It's a regulation that when you're going out, you need to wear one. Now imagine if you're going to sell that for 10 rand, 20 rand, 15 rand, whatever the case is, and you've got 200 people that actually buy it and that's how we need to start thinking when we are looking at our side hustles or basically just looking at how we can begin to build those side hustles is what do people need and how can we deliver i know majority of the time we talk about when you go to ekasi which is more communities in south africa like basic communities you realize that each and every single corner that you are at there's this puzzle shop there's a little shop where people can buy and that is really catering to the people because people don't want to have to walk four streets away to go buy something people want to be able to get out of their yard walk just a few houses away so that they can be able to buy something that's why you see now there's a lot of malls that are coming up a little bit more closer to us there's a lot of things things are being more accessible to us and that's what a side hustle needs to do it needs to be accessible to the people that you want to cater for and the most amazing thing with all of this is technology can assist you to do that 
but realize that you are catering to the people that are within your community because one thing we need to be very careful of is running away from trying to create these instagram worthy businesses and realizing that how do we begin to cater to the needs of our people at the level that they are because there's a huge gap in south africa of people that are in communities so how do you start coming up with that side hustle idea that you've always wanted start looking around you and look at your immediate people i did say in the previous video that we did on the different side hustles that i shared with you guys was that what I have done in the past is looking around me and if I see that people want to get their hair done, I will start doing their hair until I'm able to open a salon, right? To make that an official business. And another thing that I also want you to understand, which is something I reiterated a lot within the previous video was that side hustles, if run well and if they do well, can actually become a huge legitimate business for you. Majority of the businesses that you see nowadays have started at some point as a side hustle. So you need to understand that there is the bigger picture to the things that you want to do and you need to actually begin to see that if you're able to cater to your community and if you're able to assist your community with a particular thing it becomes so much easier for you to actually leave your work whatever the case is or possibly still carry on but expand and make it a lot more bigger because you're catering to a need that people cannot live without so with that said i hope that this video was super fruitful for you if you did enjoy it please do give it a thumbs up. and remember the mentorship program that you guys have been asking for is officially up and we still have a couple of openings so if you would like to enroll please do so so the link is going to be down here below and I look forward to seeing you guys on the 2nd of June. It's going to be super exciting and I'm so excited about to really assist a number of people kind of unpack their vision, unpack all the things that they wanted to do and really get them to the course of taking action. So thank you again for watching this video. Have yourself an awesome one and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.